have joined ChristianMingle.com in the past year alone. Join for free and find God's match for you at ChristianMingle.com. High school graduation is one of the most important times in a teenager's life. It's kind of everything. And it's a big moment for proud parents as well. So they shower their kids with gifts, cash, computers, maybe even a car. What about plastic surgery? A high school senior in the Houston area, Madison Landis, asked for parents for breast implants, and they said yes. And this actually happens probably more often than you think. You're talking about this, so let's get to our guest. Dr. Robert Freund is a plastic surgeon, the author of The More Beautiful You. Also, adiosbarbie.com founder, Pia Guerrero. That is a great name, Pia. I like that. Um, thank you both for joining me. Doctor, I want to start with you. Um, how common is this? I don't want to specifically pick on this young lady, but how common is this? Um, I don't think it's very common at all. I think most doctors use uh, uh, good judgment and decide to wait until the children are a little bit more mature, maybe even moving into 22 or 23 years old. Um, how often do you think that young people are asking for it? Have you had this, uh, have you had this in your office? Absolutely, and I tell them uh, in no uncertain terms to wait. Um, the FDA has decided that silicone breast implants should not be implanted until you're 22 years old. So I think that's a good starting point. At, tw at 18 years old, you're not mature enough. I'm not sure the children have an, uh, appropriate expectations and they don't understand the risks. Um, but what if there is an 18 year old that does? I'm just, I'm, I'm laying devil's advocate here. Have you ever been on the fence about a particular patient that was right at 18 and you almost said yes? Well, I, I guess the answer is there certainly are people that are ready at 18 years old, but if they're ready at 18, They'll be ready at 21 or 22 years old. <laughs> That's a great answer. Uh, Pia, what concerns you about this? Um, what concerns me is that the teen years are crucial for self-development as adults. And a lot of times our bodies keep changing until we're in our early 20s, sometimes mid-20s. And so if we look at that and we think about how um, plastic surgery is actually a fix mm -hmm. um, for what's normal to happen in your your teens and your late teens, which is to feel that you're not normal. Um, so to have plastic surgery is actually a temporary solution, and there are other ways to build long-term self-esteem, which focus on your character and your competence and sort of who you are as a person, as opposed to what you look like. You know, you mentioned um, confidence. I, I, I want to um, play a soundbite from Madison's father, who um, he kind of meant, just let me let, let me let you listen to it, and then I want you both to react on the other side. Let's listen. Why do you buy a kid a uh, new vehicle when they graduate? It's all about their self-esteem. If that, that's that they would want, you know, that's what, you know, I mean, you try to do whatever it takes for, for your kids and make them feel better and be stronger in life. So, Pia, he seems to be flat out saying, yes, I'm using this to make her feel better about herself. What are your, what's your reaction to that? Well, you know, I admire him for trying to support his daughter to mm -hmm. feel better about herself but changing her external appearance isn't going to actually do that in the long run. It may be a temporary fix, but you know, youth development actually s centers around developing yourself as a person and seeing who you are and how you react in the world and how you um, interact with other people, what you contribute, your humor, your character, all of that. And that's really going to last you your lifetime. Um, not correcting something that you think is wrong with your body. Dr. Freund, how do you approach um, a patient or, or parents that come in and they say that this is going to be a fix for, for confidence and self-esteem issues? Well, I, the answer is uh, I think that your daughter needs to talk to a psychologist to talk about their self-esteem issues, that breast implants are not going to change your self-esteem. Probably more important from the doctor perspective is the risks. And if, since the FDA does not allow you to put silicone implants in until you're 22, and the only available implant at 18 is a saline implant, which only account for about a third of all implants placed because the silicone are more desirable, that means that you're going to subject that child to more surgeries. Mm -hmm. So number one, doesn't help their self-esteem. And number two, they are, uh, it's not like a car. The father was talking about it being like buying a BMW or something. You know, you can sell that BMW. Those implants are now part of that child for the rest of their life. 
Wow. Um, Pia, the, the, the doctor mentioned maybe if she were having issues with self-esteem or, or something like that to go talk to a psychologist. But, you know, i got to say, I've been a young girl. Sometimes, you know, self-esteem issues and confidence, and that, that's, that's an evolving process. That's not necessarily something you need to go see a doctor about, right? Um, definitely. And that's what happens as you grow into adulthood. You know, your experience in life builds your sense of self and um, also your environment. You know, teens are extremely susceptible to their environment. And right now, you know, our society is completely bombarded with media messages that tell women and girls that they're important not for their abilities, but for their appearance. And so it's really important to stress that with young people um, so that they can actually start looking inside and develop self-esteem as opposed to looking externally for these quick fixes that are temporary, that don't actually have an impact on who they are, just an impact on what they look like. So I thought this is a, a conversation worth having, and we absolutely wish Madison and her family the best. We just use them as a jumping off point because I know that there are other young people that are you know, grappling with these decisions as well. Dr. Robert Freud and Pia Guerrero, thank you both for the conversation. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. An 18-month-old baby girl has been called a lot of things. I mean, cute and adorable, but a suspected...